At the Booker Fowler Fish Hatchery, bass aren't the only species being spawned. So are paddlefish, a prehistoric species that can be traced all the way back to the dinosaurs. The biologists have a female nearing ovulation and three males in the tank next to her. The goal will be to get as many eggs out of the female and as much sperm out of the males without water touching the eggs or the sperm. Paddlefish sperm, along with a lot of other fish species, uh, water activates the sperm. Sperm usually only has a small amount of energy and lasts for a short time. It has a, an energy packet and the water activates that energy packet and allows the sperm to start swimming. We don't want water mixed in with our sperm until we have surrounded the eggs with the sperm. Female paddlefish store eggs directly in their body cavity and must pass them through their oviduct in order to vent out of the fish. As biologists feel along the belly, they are pushing the eggs out. They know she is ready. Biologists bring the female to a surgery sling and make an incision in the body cavity to release the maximum amount of eggs. Once the incision has been made, the team must stand the fish up vertically to help push out as many eggs as possible. Biologists work their hands down the fish as eggs keep flowing out by the thousands. While some biologists help push the eggs out, Others are constantly switching the catch bin. All right, Elena, ready to switch pans? Once they have collected the eggs, the biologists quickly suture the female paddlefish and return her to her tank. Next, the males will also be suspended vertically in order to collect the sperm. Like the female, they dry off the fish before extraction. The biologists will mix the sperm of the three male paddlefish in order to have diversity in the offspring. All right, that's good. Once the males are returned to their tank, the process of spawning the eggs and the sperm can begin. In multiple bins sit eggs from the female paddlefish. Next, the sperm from the males is mixed into the bin and water is added to activate the sperm. Turkey feathers are used to start mixing the eggs, sperm, and water. After about a minute, the fertilized eggs become adhesive and a fine clay water mixture is added to coat the eggs. This keeps the eggs from clumping and sticking together. Students take turns keeping the mixture moving. This helps adequately coat the eggs so they won't stick together. Now that the eggs are fertilized, the water and mud mixture are removed. From there, a sample of how many eggs are in a milliliter are counted. This will give a good estimate to the amount of eggs that were yielded. Lastly, the eggs are transferred to a McDonald egg jar where they are incubated in fresh oxygenated water until they hatch about five days later. <laughs>